And I came back here and I reminded them that there was a time I came and requested your support and prayers to become the member of parliament and they all agreed with me. Then I came back and I said, I'm requesting for your support and your prayers to be the governor of Mombasa. So I'm giving advice to those who are out there seeking some good things. You don't have to go far. Um, as has always been my norm before I became a member of parliament and even after I became a member of parliament, I've always said when I'm within the precincts of any religious institution, allow me not to preach politics. Today will be no different. But um, when I was MP, but allow me to say a big thank you. Allow me to also inform you that um, when I came, we made a pledge, and I'm glad that we've honored our pledge. We have now made arrangements to anchor it into law that no religious institution should pay land in this year. And what the law talks about is from ECD level on how ways our children can be able to coexist and learn that we can have our differences in religion, in tribe, in color, but at the end of the day, in the eyes of God, in the eyes of other humans, we are one thing. Um, and equally, we want to put up what is going to be called a religious festivities uh, act, which will now also make sure that the county government of Mombasa is going to be at the forefront. So that means when it comes for time for Easter, let something be done by your government. When it comes time for Eid, let something be done by your government. When it comes to Christmas, let something be done for your government. When it comes for Diwali, let something be done for, by your government. And the reason is because where we live, where we live, there's not a single individual who can ever, ever say that they were able to get votes because of their people. It's impossible. The mathematics and equations don't allow it. I was the most blessed member of parliament because I came from the most cosmopolitan region. Mvita constituency was the most cosmopolitan. Every religion, every tribe, every color, every creed. And now I'm one of the most blessed governors because I come from an area where there's every religion, every tribe. Killa moja yuko hapa. And at the, at the end of the day, you're all mine close to my heart. So I want to thank you once again. I want to thank you for having us and my party leader here in Mombasa, but I want to make a confession. This time, uh, it is him who called me. I think, Your Excellency, you called me last night, close to about, uh, and he actually mentioned that this church by name, he said, I want to go to uh, Mombasa Memorial at this particular church. And it is the reason why even the people from my office reached out to you later on at night. It was at that time when he called me. So thank you very much, Your Excellency. Um, and uh, thank you to both the leadership of the church and thank you profusely to the congregation who are here. I am what I am today because of you. Thank you very much and be blessed. Asante Nisan. And now I want to take the opportunity to welcome my party leader, His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga. Wow. The leadership of the church, Wana Kenya Water, and by my Pikasuke Leo Hamujambo. Hamujambo Tena. God is good all the times. Wow. I am very delighted to have opportunity to meet with fellow Christians today. This being the first uh, Sunday of the year. 
As you know, my birthday always coincides with the seventh day of the year. So today I'm one year older. <laughs> Meaning that I've st taken another step towards my end. That's what it means. But I'm delighted to join you here. Um, sometimes we begin here. Uh, usually Christmas we are at home. And then New Year, sometimes we are here in Mombasa. But unfortunately, this time we went very far away to a small island in the Indian Ocean called the Comoros. Comoros is uh, one of those islands in the Indian Ocean and enjoys a lot of historical connection with this part of our country. Has met so many Comorians who told me that, you no, know, when we come to Kenya, we go to Mombasa, you go to Malindi, you go to Lamu, you feel very much at home. But when you go to Nairobi, you feel like strangers. But in Mombasa, you feel at home. So they asked me to convey their greetings to the people of Mombasa. Mepokea. Mepokea, salami wa komoro. I am also very delighted. That last time I came here, it was a male leadership of this church. Today I've seen a difference, a big progress. Hongera, Hongera, Mama, Hongera. I feel very proud, you know, as an Anglican, to see this kind of development taking place in our church. Uh, and you know, I'm the most senior Anglican politician in this country. Akuna Mugine, Mwana Mugine. That's why I always come and join you people who are in distress. Like last time when we came here, we can part of you, my husband, a party, we can say my partner. To take a year and to decide on a family and a year. See me, Fanica. See now, as a can. See now, as a can. Come as a meal. Like my governor said. We don't this is a say politics in church. We say that we come to church to pray and fellowship with fellow Christians. To kitaka kongea siasa, uko inje. Mungia kwa kiwanje. Na wale wengine wenze, pinzani wetu ambaye, siku hizi mamefanya kanisa kama kiwanja ya siasa. Bada ibada, wanakuenda pale sasa wanaanza kusomia sisi, tenefanya hii, Tunafanya hii, tutafata hii, tutafanya hii, wale wamesema uongo na kathalika, nama mapana. Wachini kiwanja ya kanisa ibaki kanisa. Tuende kanisa kuwambi na wakristu. Mkitaka sisi kama wanasiasa, tukudani kiwanjani huko nje. Na tuko, mtasema na tutajibu. Masibio? Masibio? Sasa, Biblia unajua, Iku na injili. Si Biblia iku na injili. There is the gospel according to St. Matthews. Ukisoma gazeti zilewa wanasema fale mbaya lifanyika kule bomu asu Kenya. Kuna gospel according to St. Matthew mbaya na yetu St. Chibukati. Kuna gospel ingine according to St. Mark I'm going to send Cherera. I'm serious. I often get a gospel according to Ashkofuetu, Saint Sapit, will be the Yukundaniak. The Kinu Bada in Mebaki, ill gospel according to Saint John. According to John, Saint John, it a talker. It a Nyesha will mambo elekua. Mambo yale ya likuwa. Yo, kenya wengi wa nangoja ati baba onge. Baba nasema nangoja kwanza, St. John aseme kwanza, ala humimi, nita ongea. Tuleona vizuri. Wakati huu, wakenya waku na shida mingi. Njaa, imezidi. Karama ya maisha, imepanda. Pande zingine, mfugo zinakufa. Pandegigine mafuriko. 
na kadhalika lakini ndio kuambia wa Kristo ya kwamba wasuenga walisema baada ya dhiki faraja tuna hakika kwamba tutafarijika kama wa Kenya na yeye mzidi kuambia sisi si tutazidi kusimama imara ili haki ifanyike katika taifa letu na hakika haki itatendeka katika taifa letu wa Kenya wawe na matumaini wakati tafika baba kama mkristo mwangalikano ataongea lakini nasubiri kwanza nani Yohana mtakatifu aongee kwanza baba ataongea asanteni sana Mungu awe na nyinyi